Hello everyone, welcome to my online geography class KSK Geography. Here we are going to discuss two more important seasons of Indian climate that is rotating monsoon and the winter seasons of India. Rotating monsoon that duration it will be there during the October and November and the winter season the duration it will be there that is December January February so let's start with the rotating monsoon season that is the October and November remember those are the transition period only so during the month of October and November the sun position it will shift to the southern hemisphere when the sun position is shifted to the southern hemisphere you know if the landmass and the water body it will start to release the temperature start to release the temperature but as I said it is just the transition period now when it will start to release the temperature so pressure belt also it will start to shift when the pressure belt it will start to shift so wind direction also according to that it will change during the rainy season the humidity it was high and the temperature also it was high now the temperature will start to reduce but the humidity amount it will remain same the humidity it will remain same so as as a result during daytime there will be high temperature and high humidity and that is the oppressive condition we will experience in that time that is called October heat those are very important term from this part you know in board exam you will say that in frequently what is October heat or October heat related question it has been given time to time just be focused on that so October heat it means high temperature and high humidity that is the oppressive weather condition that it will be called October heat that's the condition it will be there during the daytime but remember at night the condition it will be opposite sky it will be clear and the temperature it will be low so daytime October heat and in the night time there will be clear sky and low temperature right so here you need to remember one more important things most of the part of India it will get no rain during this time except one place that is the Karamandal coast here is the Karamandal coastal plains or Tamil Nadu or Chennai. Chennai is the city. So Chennai is the city. So here they will get the Chennai here, particular place. Now during the October November month, what will happen? Wind it will start to change its direction, and during that time, wind it will come from the northeastern side to the southwestern side. So one part over Bay of Bengal, when it will pass, it will absorb the moisture from Bay of Bengal. And this side, when it will come to the Karamandal coast or Tamil Nadu, so this part there is a one mountain is there that is the eastern Ghat mountains so eastern Ghat mountains are here in this area so when it will be blocked by the eastern Ghat mountains so that time you know windward side of eastern Ghat mountains it will create heavy rain it will create heavy rain in this area right so the Karamandal coast or Tamil Nadu it will only get the rain during the month of October November so these are the features duration October number rain in the Karamandal coast and October heat that is oppressive climatic condition that is high temperature and high humidity as well as at night remember it will be clear sky and low temperature now let's go to the next one that is the winter season or cold seasons of India the cold seasons or the winter seasons of India that is very simple just you need to focus the duration that is December to February here there will be basically clear sky there will be no such rain all over the India it will be basically cold and dry except one place it will get rainfall during that time that is the Punjab Haryana some part of Rajasthan some part of Uttar Pradesh and some part of Madhya Pradesh also so those are the area which will be affected with the rain now this rain it will be not due to the northeast monsoon that it will happen due to the western disturbances in the mechanism of monsoon we discuss about western disturbances so what happened during the winter season the westerly jet stream it will come from the Mediterranean Sea you remember westerly jet stream it will come from the Mediterranean Sea and when it will come to the India so Indian part there is a huge Himalayan mountains are there so Himalayan mountain it will block the westerly jet stream and it will create snowfall in the place of Jammu Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh and in the Punjab Haryana and some part of Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh it will create rainfall so as a result the temperature it will drop down in that area so these are the place only which will get rain during 
the cold season rest all over india the temperature it will be low and the pressure belt condition it will be there over the indian landmass there will be the high pressure belt and surrounding water bodies there will be the low pressure belt that's it from the cold seasons of india or winter seasons of india now two important things you need to focus it here the punjab and haryana that's getting rain during the winter season and this area is getting rain from three different sources arabian sea branch also it creates rain bay of bengal branch also when it will enters it will create rain as well as due to the westerly disturbance also it will create rain especially westerly disturbance in that area help in the rabi crop cultivation especially wheat that's why punjab is very famous for wheat cultivation on the other hand this karamandal coast it will get rain due to the retreating monsoon that only you need to focus it here that's it from the cold or winter seasons of india now one small portion is left from the climate of india chapter that is rainfall distribution for rainfall distribution we will come with another video and we will meet you soon in that video till the time like share and subscribe the channel thank you very much